Hey everybody, it's James Freeman. Today's video is coming to us from Open Government Investigations channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description and in the comments below. This one is dedicated to all you conspiracy theorists who believe that sometimes government agents don't just happen to violate rights, but actually cook up elaborate conspiracies to violate rights. One of our deputies, Nico Irizarry, arrested someone for trafficking in fentanyl and other narcotic related charges. I immediately assembled a major crimes unit task force to begin an investigation into the arrest. The task force conducted a thorough investigation revealing an elaborate conspiracy to plant illegal drugs in the victim's vehicle and arrange for a traffic stop on that vehicle after the drugs were planted. We called this press conference today to announce a criminal investigation involving one of our deputies. To give you details on that investigation is Sheriff Carmine Marcino. Sheriff. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for being here today. Nobody is above the law. Nobody. And that includes our deputies. Earlier today, Lee County Sheriff's Office Deputy Nico Irizarry was arrested for a felony official misconduct. Today, I fired Irizarry and revoked his appointment as a deputy sheriff. On December 16th, 2021, one of our deputies, Nico Irizarry, arrested someone for trafficking in fentanyl and other narcotic related charges. In earlier January, our Internal Affairs Division received information that caused us concern that the arrest was not lawful. I immediately assembled a major crimes unit task force to begin an investigation into the arrest. We moved quickly and decisively and left no stone unturned, spared no expense and devoted every available resource to this investigation. The task force conducted a thorough investigation revealing an elaborate conspiracy to plant illegal drugs in the victim's vehicle and arranged for a traffic stop on that vehicle after the drugs were planted. The task force utilized state-of-the-art technology from our digital forensics unit and the real-time intelligence center to reveal the true names of those involved to identify and access bogus email accounts and text messages. Task force detectives traveled across the country working 24-7 for the truth the investigation revealed the first suspect 36 year old charge custodio had a personal hatred for our victim custodio obtained and provided a large amount of illegal narcotics to a second suspect 29 year old scott snyder snyder posed as a real estate client to plant the narcotics in the victim's vehicle once the narcotics were planted custodio communicated with Irizarry to provide the victim's location. This allowed Irizarry to stop the victim's vehicle, ultimately locating the hidden narcotics. Irizarry took the victim into custody on narcotics-related charges. Irizarry lied on arrest report, failing to report the actual circumstances leading to the discovery of illegal narcotics. Both Irizarry and custodial were arrested here in Lee County while at the same time my detectives are in Texas arresting Snyder. Irizadi was charged with felony official misconduct. Custodio and Snyder were both charged with trafficking in fentanyl, possession of a controlled substance, and conspiracy. I demand every member of the Lee County Sheriff's Office maintain the highest standards. Every deputy will act honestly, honorably, and I will not tolerate deception or dishonesty. This case costs tens of thousands of dollars to bring to closure, including expedited DNA testing, thousands of miles traveled, completely dedicated numerous detectives to search out the truth. Those who gauged in this disgusting conduct are now in jail. 
where they belong, including former Deputy Irizarry. I'll take some questions. We received the complaint to our Internal Affairs Department. As we do every complaint that we get, we look into it immediately, transparently, and fully for facts. And once we realized that Irizarry was going to be involved in a criminal investigation, more so there was validity to it, he was immediately, immediately placed on uh, leave. 